I'm looking at the work of William de Morgan that we can see here, and I'm going to use this inspiration to decorate a clay tile. So here I've got a clay of a, a tile of leather hard clay. I'm putting a first layer of slip on it, uh, going um, two ways to make sure I've got an even layer, and then a second layer going up and down and left to right, so I've got a nice even coverage. While it is drying, I'm cutting out an animal that I'm going to use as a stencil to decorate this tile on there. Uh, once I've got my stencil in place on my dry slip I just put it down and gently uh, with a sponge wipe out the background on there so we just got the yellow is going to stay underneath my stencil while the rest is wiped out. Here I'm going to put a second layer of slip here I've got a pale blue uh, and that's going to come out once it's been fired the colors can look different sometimes. Just cutting out some more stencils I'm going to use in the background here I've got two circles uh, and I'm wiping out some of the blue uh, very lightly and keeping some blue at the bottom on here. And I'm coming out with a third colour on here. So here I've decided to put white, uh, same that will come out uh, once it's fired uh, as a strong colour on here. So going up and down for an even coverage. Here I think I need a new coat. So when it's dry, I'm going to come back in, put a new coat on. Okay, when my slip is dry, I'm using a pointed tool to lift up uh, the newsprint uh, of the stencils on here and remove them. So now I've got my three colors of slip showing on there on my tile. I'm using a scraffito tool, quite a wide one, uh, to kind of almost gouge out uh, the main lines of my bird on there. Uh, so really carefully and slowly follow the lines on there. Uh, it works out a little bit like lino cutting in a way. Uh, it is a little bit easier because the tool is not sharp on there. So I'm gonna do the circles as well with this uh, wide tool. Then I'm gonna use a really thin tool, which is just like a scratching needle um, and scratch out uh, some patterns on my bird and on my background on there. So you can use a reference picture or just uh, work freehand and decide what you want to do on there. Try to have a pattern that's quite intricate and detailed. Uh, the more detailed your tile, the more interesting it's going to be. You can just brush off uh, the little bits on there. So in the background, I've decided to do some leaves and some little abstract patterns on there. Um, as a kind of relating to the bird on to fill the background and I'm decorating those two circles which look a bit like maybe a moon or a sun with some patterns as well and that's it for the patterns then uh, you need to brush off all the little bits uh, so your tile is nice and clean and that's going to be ready to glaze now and you can see here we've got a fair uh, amount of fine detail to create an interesting um, line drawing with some patterns on there. Then you're going to cover everything in with a clear glaze. So at the moment it looks white, but when you fire in the kiln, it will look transparent and you will see your colors uh, shine through it.